So, monsoon is here. And when you looked out of the window after the first shower, that smell. Everybody loves the smell of earth during rain. But where does this smell come from? You may have observed that many natural clay pots also emit a fragrance similar to that of rain when water is sprinkled on them. This fragrance emission is a property of many types of dry clays and soils. Now coming back to the question of the smell of rain, it was a mystery for quite a while. Thankfully, researchers from MIT did this experiment in which they discovered that when a raindrop hits a porous surface, it traps small air bubbles at the point of contact. These air bubbles are released as aerosols. The smell of rain is particularly observed in predominantly arid regions and was known to be associated with the first rains after drought. Rocks and soil in such arid or semi-arid regions develop and trap fragrant oils in them. These fragrant oils are caused by bacteria called actinobacteria. These bacteria develop during warm and relatively damp conditions. Later, when the climate is dry in summer, the bacteria produce spores in the rocks and soil. These spores come out of the rocks sometime in the pre-monsoon days due to humidity. And as the MIT results told us, the raindrops trap these spores inside them and then they burst into the air. The spores act as aerosols and carry the smell to our noses. That is why you could smell the smell of the earth right from your window. You may correlate this to a fizzy drink being poured into a glass. Now the fragrant oil compound that is formed in the rocks is known as geosmin, while the smell of rain itself is known as petriker. Petriker is a word derived from two Greek words, petri and iker. Petri means something relating to rocks, while iker in Greek mythology means the blood that flows in the veins of gods. So petriker literally means the blood of the rocks. So if you learned something new, give this video a like and subscribe for some more awesome science.